We're top of the league and we play Everton and Man City in this episode. Let's see how it goes. Hello and welcome back to this Football Manager 23 Beta Series. We are doing the Liverpool save and in today's episode we, we've got a little bit going on. We've got the end of the transfer window and we've also got two big games against Everton and then we're going to fast forward all the way down to face Man City in this episode. And yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to say the least so with that we'll get to the first game against Everton but actually there was something I wanted to show you so this is now interesting so the board expect us to draw against Everton but the supporters are expecting a win and um, the fans also of course want a lot more things but anticipating being scored by some exciting attacking football is what we're looking for so this is where it becomes interesting especially with teams where the supporters have a high say when you know the board want a draw and are happy with that but you know an expecting win from the supporters it does make it interesting reading but with that in mind as i say let's get into the first game So, the team for the game, you already know it. It's Allison in goal, Trent is right back, Gomez and Van Dijk as our centre backs. Simicast is starting this game because I think Andy Robertson needs a little bit of a break. We've got Henderson and Thiago, Salah, Musilela, and Diaz with Nunes up front. Let's get into this all important match where we really, really need to be pulling something out. Doesn't agree with today's team sheets. I'm feeling strong, understanding. So let's get in and let's see what we can do. Once again, I've left the headphones on and I don't know why. And all this is going on, but let's get into the game and let's just see what we can do in this big match at our local rivals. In good form, won in the first two games in the last episode. And I just think that we can do so much more in this episode and really build. We shouldn't be balanced. We should always be positive. And uh, it's to Simicast. Oh, don't like this camera angle. To Simicast in. It's now called to Diaz. Diaz plays it to Simicast. Simicast has a chance. Plays to the edge to Thiago. Thiago brings it down, but puts it over the bar. Great start by the Reds. Three shots already, and we're 20 minutes in. And we have got scope to make some good changes for the second half. If I'm feeling that, we're not really getting the best. So we'll... Showed some encouragement and Simicast has taken a knock, so we'll make that change straight away and bring on Andy Robertson. Not worth risking him. And now it's Diaz on the ball, but Corey gets there. Now it's Tarkovsky, but Musilelia gets the ball back and oh, he's tried to put it in that near post where the little arms was. I mean, Pickford was. And really, he has to go across the goal there. But now Andrew Robertson is on the pitch for Costas and already we. Oh, at half time, very few highlights. So we'll give it till about that 55, 60 minutes. We're, again, we're dominating the game, but we're not dominating the possession stats, which is slightly worrying. So we're going to go on the instructions and play shorter. Oh, and this is actually pretty cool. We've got a pass map up. We're not going to pass into the space. We're going to pass, play our defense and focus on the wings. Let's see what that can do. It's Coleman to Decore. Decore back to Coleman. Coleman now being able to run. Now it's Tolkowski. Now over to Connor Cody, who thought he scored the win in the actual derby. And a short ball. And Mohamed Salah has picked it up, but has been dispossessed by Mikolenko. And Trent gets back and does exceptionally well. And Mo Salah back there too, also making the interceptions count. And we're to Henderson, Henderson back to Gomez, Gomez back to Virgil, Thiago, Henderson, Henderson to Salah, Salah, we're looking to build here, Musilea out now to Trent, Trent got a chance, he plays into Darwin, and it's a great save once again, having the game of his life, so let's... Let's go to the bench and let's see what we can do. So we can bring on the experience for me, you know, for Jamal. We'll bring on... Uh, that, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make that one change right now. 
just see if Firmino can't do something. And if not, we can bring on Cavallio a bit later on. Firmino now on the ball. Great pass, Thiago, to Henderson. Henderson to Firmino. Firmino into the box, and Firmino gets a shot away. But it is going to be a corner. Can we swing this in and get something out of it? It is Trent on the ball. Come on, Trent, put this in. Trent to Darwin, and there's the goal. Darwin Nunes with another goal for the Reds. Great header, great play. 1-0 up, just perfect. What we want, we want no one else but Trent crossing that ball in. And it is a phenomenal header. Gets ahead of Tarkovsky, and that is it. Hallelujah. Let's continue this fine form. Gomez now on the ball. Gomez pays it up and Diaz just can't get there and Coleman is there. Diaz is need, maybe needing a bit of help. So we're going to praise the team because we are playing extremely well and it's over towards Dar towards Diaz. Diaz is dispossessed and Diaz is nearly dispossessed again. There is a chance he will be brought off, but Firmino, he comes in and he's hit the post and it's a tie in for Darwin Nunes. Brilliant play there from Diaz. I was about to substitute him and he's just come on and has made a monumental difference right there. He hasn't just come on. What am I saying? What am I talking? He's just got the ball and made a monumental difference. Firmino, unlucky, and Darwin's just left with the easiest goal he'll score in his Liverpool career. 2 0 up and once again, we are looking dominant. So now it is Tarkovsky, Coleman, Coleman to Gordon. Gordon is being pushed backwards. Tarkovsky now on the ball. Across now to Connor Cody. Cody to Mil... I can never say his name. Milchenko, is it? Or Milenko? Whatever. And it's now... Um, address oh, oh, Nana, was that? I thought that was Guy for a second. No, it's Onana. And the ball now across to Gordon, who's got there before Diaz. But thankfully, Robinson is there. We're in the 69th minute. I'll bring on some. I'll bring on my last subs very soon to give them a run out. Diaz. Diaz being able to run. He's still running, Diaz. And he's had a shot. He's had a shot. And he's only gone and scored. What a goal. Little Arms could not get anywhere near that. Pickford once again. Beaten from range by a Liverpool winger. And this is just fantastic. Diaz picks it up. Just takes it. No one closes him down properly. And he just strikes it. Little arms nowhere near that ball. Just what we want to see from the Liverpool attack. 3-0. 12 goals that's three we scored three goals in every game we played and we're averaging four goals a game which is just insane but here's Damari Gray plays the ball in and there uh, Connor Cody does score so we lose the clean sheet bonus which a bit disappointing but we will now make our final changes I think so we're going to bring on Casido I want to say we'll bring on Fabio Cavallio for Nunes and throw Rebel Firmino up front and we're also going to bring on Fabinho for Henderson just to really change it up and see it out and 3-1 up and let's just now see the game out don't let them back in don't let them have a chance because this crowd will be rocking right now they'll be making DVDs and CDs and YouTube videos about how they scored a goal so we've got to just watch out and watch our back 17 shots you know we're good value for our three goals if you want to look at the XG and realistically they shouldn't have scored but the game finishes 3-1 couldn't ask for more from the lads. Played really well and looking really good. I'd love it if we beat them. I think that's because you beat a rival. But, yeah, we're looking good. Lampard unhappy with rival defeats. Simicas, Nunes, praise their performance. So, we're going to now go and play the rest of the transfer window. And we'll be back here for the Man City game. I'll see you soon. So we've come back a bit earlier than expected and that is because we have the Champions League draw. So I thought for the first time, for the novelty, that I will show you what the draw looks like. Don't know if I'll be allowed that on YouTube or not. We'll wait and see. 
So this is just like a live update sort of thing. So we can advance and buy Munich. Also, you can just do it like this, and it'll just literally play the draw for you. Which I think I think that's more of a novelty than something oh life changing because it's just like the automated cup draws really. So it's a bit. I'm just going to pause it and do it myself. So we can get an overview of what it looks like. So you can see who's in each part and you can do it as a live update. Or you can do it this way. So we'll just do it this way. Chelsea, what am I being in this group? No, can't be in this group. Don't want to be in this group. Yeah, take that group. That's perfect. So, Benfica, Inter, Shakhtar. Who do we have left? I don't want Borussia Dortmund. Shakhtar are gone. Milan are gone. Salzburg, I'll take. I'll take everyone but Dortmund. Sporting, take it. And I think I'll take anyone in this final part, in truth. Who Marseille would probably be the hardest team to draw. PSV Eindhoven, I will take it. So that is how we are looking. We've got an okay ish group. Yeah, we should get through that group. So with that in mind, we'll be back for the either any transfers that do happen or if the transfers happen, then we'll be back for the city game. That's outrageous. What the hell have I just seen? So, we've come back a little early, but for very good reason. We're drawn to all. We're being slightly FM'd, I'd say. We are the better team here. And just watch this go. So, I'm just saying, I'm minding my own business. I'm thinking, well, we'll, we'll grab a winner from somewhere. I'm sure of it. What the hell was that? Outside of the boost has drilled it into the far corner. Anyway, I'm gonna skip now to the Man City match. So we are now back for the City match. And as you can see, we did drop points. But I wanna show you this. The game we dropped points in was this one. And I would say we were FM'd quite hardly in that game to get a 1-1 draw. Basically, the ball's just played over the top and Sterling just ran in. But I would say on the balance, that was a harsh result. We had a 7-0 win at Nottingham Forest, which, going to be honest, we fully deserved a 4 0 win, a 7 0 win. Even XG says below I mean, that's just fantastic. Nunez scored five, I believe. And then a few matches later, we did the same, exact same to Leeds. So I don't think we had as many shots in this match 28 shots and 14. And again, we are just looking amazing at the moment and we head into this game winner goes top or stays top of the league and yeah this is the team we're going to go with we're going to play Trent as our right back Fabinho and Van Dijk as our centre backs Milner as our left backs our left backs are knackered I believe if I'm correct I don't know if Simicast is, is back but Simicast hasn't played much but we'll, we will play uh, Costas. We've got Henderson, Thiago in the midfield. And these will be dropped back down into their defensive roles. We moved them because we played a different system. And Salah. Salah starts. Salah definitely starts. Salah, Musiela, Diaz, and... Nunes injured? No. Nunes... You know, definitely has to start. And Robson can start as well. We'll bring Simicas on the bench for Naby. And Calvin Ramsey has played a game for us. Will be on the bench for Joel Matip. So this is the team we're going with. Let's see how we do in this match. And the match that this is the match that matters. This is definitely the match that matters. So 
be them in the community shield can we beat them here and now uh, I, don't, I don't really know because I haven't seen much of City who's been scoring their goals, things like that. Mo Salah there with a great interception, but they've kept the ball and it's through to Haaland and Haaland has scored. And I think you can tell how it's offside or not by whether their hands are raised. It's a goal. Oh no, goal is loud. Oh, that changes my hypothesis. That changes it. Because up to now, when they've been offside, the hands have been by the ground, by the sides. But now his hand did go up, so that hypothesis is maybe wrong. Trump with the ball in, and it's Darwin Nunes for his 15th goal of the season with another tapping. He has been an explosive player for us, scoring and assist-wise. Great cross from Trent. Edison comes, doesn't get it. And that just leaves Darwin with a tap in at the back post. Three minutes in, we're 1-0 up. We have got to just continue with this form. Salah through and oh, it's not controlled. And now Ake with a chance to run. De Bruyne on the ball. De Bruyne still on the ball. De Bruyne's got it through to Foden. Phil Foden across. And it's an own goal by Fabinho. You see, in, in a situation like that, I don't think the graphics are great. Like, surely the keeper, Allison can get back and save that. That ball seemed to roll in really, really slow. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. No, okay. I thought it rolled in a lot slower than that. But that is one all. One thing we have been good at so far this season is shutting out teams. So it's slightly annoying how we are one all right now. Rodrigo, great ball. Has opened us up and Haaland misses. Fabino may only last till half time. He has been running behind. So we're gonna encourage the team at this stage. We are picking up quite a few yells. We are gonna put the stay on feet. Instruction on Diaz. Diaz Rodrigo. Rodrigo now having a little chance to Cancelo. Cancelo's great tackle by Thiago. Henderson, Salah, Nunes. Back to Salah. And he gets out to Trent. Through again to Salah. Salah on the 10. Back to Trent. Trent has hit the bar. Oh, I didn't tell you in that Chelsea game, Cavallo missed an open goal right at the end in the 87th minute. Laporte now to Rodrigo. Rodrigo, think he's going to be offside. Think he was offside. But we are just being running slightly behind. So that is something that I do want to address. I'm far from, I don't know, I'm far from pleased. You know, City aren't going to drop many points, so we have to be a team that goes and beats them. No, we're not going to remove it. We're approaching the 60th minute, so what we're going to do is take Fabinho off for Joe Gomez. Joss is going to come on for Luis Diaz. And Fabio Cavallo will come on for Musilea. And we'll try and see if this works. Because Cavallo has scored quite a few goals for us. And now it's Trent. Trent in. Ball back out. Gomez first to it. Plays it to Thiago. Thiago gets... Oh, no. And Thiago has been dispossessed. But no one up the field, thankfully. And we managed to get back. But Diogo there just getting turned a bit too easily. And they are working the ball through. And there it is, Mores. And great tackle there by Robertson. Robertson with the brilliant interception to keep this one all. And we are going to take Salah off for Firmino. And the ball is out. Cavallo needs to chase that down. And the ball's in. And Allison with the save comes out and that's one thing Alisson has done very well for corners he has come out to collect them ball 
hit up the field, but no one there to respond. And now it's Ake. Ake running, and Robson just cannot keep up. And the ball's in. Foden, and the ball somehow goes out of play. We are now being dominated, so we're going to drop back to balance just to try and say in and Haaland is there right Haaland is there we might as well go attacking them we're playing a lot of games and we do not have the squad depth that I would like right Cavallo to Darwin Darwin to Diogo Diogo who's only just come back from injury he plays it in and Diogo will keep this in can he find a pass? He finds Henderson. Henderson back to Diogo. What a goal from Diogo Jota. Henderson and Diogo both played an immense role in that. Let's look at that again. Diogo manages to keep it in here. Just passes it and makes the run. One touch. Oh, control over. It is two all. Well deserved goal. And we keep going now. Let's not allow this game to get away from us. Of course, we need Firmino there to be just hassling the ball a bit more. But Henderson has won it. Henderson out to Diogo Jota. Jota being able to run. Still being able to run. Can he find a cross into the box? And no, he cannot. The ball is broken up. But we've got it back with Virgil. And Van Dijk plays it back to Allison, to Gomez. We're still on the attack here. Gomez plays the ball up to Cavallo. Cavallo plays it across. Darwin Nunes is there. Darwin Nunes is there. It is 3 2. And that is what Nunes does brilliantly. He's in the right place at the right time when we need him. Gomez with a nice run. Ball over to Cavallo. The port comes. And Akanji and who's that? And Diaz just nowhere near the two players they needed to be near. And Darwin has run away with it. And Ake's off. Phillips is on. Stones is on. Thiago now is injured, is he? No, he's tired. So we'll bring on James Milner. And Robertson gets the ball. Hoofs it up the pitch towards Diogo. Diogo into Cavallo. Cavallo back to Diogo. Robertson. Robertson in. And Firmino! Is that offside? I think that was offside. I do think that was offside. But that wasn't offside. That was a great and it's a goal. It has been given. Firmino with the fourth. I thought he was offside there. But ooh. Oh, I want to see that close up. But what a goal and header from Bobby Firmino to win us the game. Oh, uh, yeah, he's well on side there. So, brilliant play. VAR gets it right. We'll confirm the tactical change. We are back to top of the league and the only undefeated team in this league. It's been a great game for us. We're 4-2 up. It's taken an hour and 40 recording to get to this point between the two matches. But look at that. Eight games, 30 goal difference. Like I want to see what the actual goals for and against is. So let's go to competitions. Let's look at this. Can we see a full XG table? Let's keep us where we are. Uh... 34 goals for, four goals against. And what does that mean? 8 into 34, 8, 16, 24. So we're scoring more, just over four goals a match. And, you know, just, uh, it's just been amazing for us. Other than that drop, those drop points, we are now the only team to not have a defeat next to our name. I hope you've enjoyed I'll tell you what we're going to come back for. We'll be back now. I'm not going to show you the Champions League group because we're just going to dominate that. We will be back probably. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll come back for the last Champions League match and for Arsenal. 
I think that's where we come back. Or do we go... No, no, no. We'll come back for Man United and Tottenham. We'll come back for these two games and then we'll go all the way through then to probably Man City lead somewhere around that time. So that's what we're going to do. Tottenham, Man United, next game. Uh, not next game. Next time you see this. So please leave a like, share the video, leave a comment on what you're looking forward to in Football Manager 23. And if you have any ideas for saves you want to see, let me know. I'm more than happy to investigate, see if I want to do them, see if they're interesting enough. And yep, yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. I hope you're having a good day. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on because I do upload twice a day. And this is one of the few places which has daily football manager content. And I hope you've enjoyed. See you very soon. Bye for now.